I'm here with Jeremy and he's the director of uh, The King and I. So um, what made you want to do all the musicals that you do? I'm asking myself this question right now because I've got about 50 people or 60, 70 people in there and I'm wondering was it a good plan? I actually started as a musician, not a director. I used to be a piano player and that led me to be a musical director. I got around musicals quite a lot. I used to sit in rehearsals and think to myself, I could do that and now I get a chance. So now you've got your chance, do you at all even the slightest bit regretting it? <laughs> no. Sometimes, some mornings, we think, oh my God, I've got all these people to move around a room, not very much rehearsal time, and today, 39 kids, and I've got nothing against kids, don't get me wrong, because I've just done The Sound of Music, which I did at the Palladium for the last few years, so that's nothing but kids. I just did a show on Broadway called 13, where there were 13, 13 year old kids, so I work with kids all the time. But sometimes 39 of them at once are a bit much, but I'm not regretting it at all, I'm having a great time. As, so you've been saying you worked with kids in other musicals mm -hmm. as well, what other musicals have you done? The big one I suppose was Sound of Music, and as you know there's seven kids in that, but of course in England you have to cast everything three times for, for legal reasons. So in that one we had three times seven, which is 21 kids. That was a big one. Mm -hmm. My next one after King and I, I'm planning to do Wizard of Oz, which is madness, because I want the munchkins to be kids, and I'll be even more kids. When will I be free of this curse of children? Do you reckon I'll be able to get a part as a munchkin? <laughs> you might be a little bit too small for my, my munchkins. <laughs> of course, I will, I will <laughs> put a hat on you, be just perfect. No, I want, I want to have kids of munchkins, but it seems to me my destiny to be surrounded with precocious um, kids who sing and dance. Actually, there's a lot of talent in this room. As well as working with kids, lots of things must go wrong. So have you got any little stories for Things go wrong all the time. You know, and actually, I don't want to dwell on it, but things, you know, sets break down, you have to stop shows, things happen which are not what you planned. But actually, all you really have to do is hope and get the best people in the business to work with you, which we have in this room. So is there anyone that stood out completely as being a shining star? particular company, my joy, and no one will mind me saying this, is Daniel De Kim, who plays the king. I'll tell you why, because I'd never worked with him before. Uh, and we audition, I talked on the phone, he was in Hawaii doing Lost, because he does telly mostly. I'd never met him. I cast him on a, on a whim, and he's just fantastic. So with him, I've got two things, one of which is admiration, and the other which is relief.